So, our third question is, which device will be suitable for understanding the concept of day and night on the earth? Now, what is the meaning of this question? Just try to understand first. For example, I am explaining you day and night means how and which places experience day and why the other side of the earth experience night. So if I'm explaining you this concept of day and night, so which device will we use for that? Will we use globe or will we use map? Come on, tell me the answer. Yes. So the answer is a globe will be suitable for understanding the concept of day and night on the earth on globe okay we can easily i can easily tell you or show you of the uh, sorry uh, concept of the day and night so which device are we going to use we are going to use globe clear Next, which device will be suitable to show your village or city? Now, <clears throat> village or city, huh? they have not asked you about your uh, state, about your district, about your, about your uh, whatever it is. Hmm? They are asking you, which device will be useful to show your village or city? Now, if you are, you are living in city, so which city? Pune city. So it is Pune district. So what will we use? Tell me students. What will you use if you have to show your city? What will you use? Will you use a globe or will you use a map? Yes. So our answer is a map. What a map will be useful to show a village or city? Yes, if you want to see the different things, different parts of your city, of Pune city, of Pune district, then we will use map. Will you able to see all these small, small things on the globe? No. Okay, you can see this on the map. Clear? Which device can be easily carried from one place to another? Now, this I told you when I was explaining what? Which device can be easily carried from one place to another? Which device? Yes, map. Why? Because globe is delicate. Okay, it's very delicate. Means we cannot handle it roughly. We have to handle it very properly. So, map is very easy okay to carry from one place to another we can place the map on the cupboard or we can hang it but globe we have to handle it very properly okay got all of you so these all were the answers of your questions now you are going to in your notebook yes i have given you all the answers we have done with the lesson we have done with the exercise i hope you all have understood everything okay please read the lesson once so that you will understand it properly what have we seen it's very easy we have compared the map and the globe globe is spherical map is flat Glo map is two dimensional globe is three dimensional Okay, so what are two dimensional length and width and uh, three dimensional length, width, height. It tells volume. So this is the difference that you should understand it. Okay, clear all of you. Okay, so I hope you all have understood it. Please write all the answers in your notebook and complete lesson three. Okay, now here is some activity. Now here they are asking, make two groups. Each group should ask the other group to find the location of different places on the globe. 
you may also do this with a map now we all are sitting at home hmm? now we can't make groups but yes you can do this with your parents with your siblings with your brother sisters yes yes what you are going to do you are going to play a game what you are going to make two groups one side will be your mother one side you will be your father and then you are going to ask the another group to find out the different places on the globe and also you can use the map if you are not having the globe yes at home mostly the globe is not available so you can use the map hmm? clear all of you so this activity you are going to do if you are going to do this definitely you will able to solve the uh, sorry read the map very properly because map reading is very important question which is going to come till your 10th standard understood all of you clear okay okay now here i have given you some extra questions which you are going to write which is not from the exercise hmm? read the following statements and correct the wrong ones i am not going to tell you the answer over here there are two sentences the moon is three dimensional you have to state whether it is right or wrong if it is right it's okay and if it is wrong you are going to correct the statement and the second sentence is a globe can be used to study regions of limited extent what a globe can be used to study the regions of limited extent is it right or is it wrong think on it and you are going to write the answers on your own globe can be used to study the regions of limited extent is it right or wrong just think and write the answer i'm not going to tell you next question is explain the difference between a map and a globe okay what you are going to do you are going to make one table differentiate you all know how to write the differentiate yes one side map one side globe see i have shown you the difference when i explained you the lesson okay in the starting of the lesson i have shown you the difference yes the same difference you can write if you want or you can write your own points also at least three points i want minimum three maximum four differentiate between a map and a globe how will you write map it is two dimensional object globe it is three dimensional object yes then what else can you write think on it and write it clear all of you yes so this questions you are going to do on your own after completing your exercise immediately you are going to write the answers of this question so with this <clears throat> we have done with lesson number 3 clear now class please read all the lessons study what all the questions which are given by the teacher yes because any time there can be surprise test now how the surprise test can be that i will not tell you okay you should be prepare for it clear any time the question paper the test paper will be in front of you and you will have to answer it and you will have to submit it to the teacher got all of you clear so i hope you all have understood the lesson what comparison between a map and a globe yes if you have not understood see the images of map see the images of globe read the lesson whatever points you have not understood def understood definitely you will come to know about it clear okay so now you are going to write the exercise and this extra questions also i have given you the answers you have to just write it in beautiful handwriting and please read the lesson as soon as teacher has finished explaining the lesson clear okay 
I hope you all are not having any doubts now in this lesson. Okay. So with this we have done. Thank you.